The pre-flight checklist screen contains all the checkup items required before takeoff. The top status bar shows information such as the health status, the battery levels of the drone and remote controller, and the mode of the remote controller. The N mode is the normal mode and uses GNSS positioning. The S mode is the sport mode. In the sport mode, the drone flies at higher speed. The T or F mode is the winch mode. In this mode, the drone flies at lower speed, with higher stability. When the drone is at risk, a banner will appear to report the error. If a banner appears, perform troubleshooting based on the error message. Weather information includes time, weather, wind speed, visibility, temperature, and humidity. In the event of extreme weather, like heavy wind, high temperatures, and extreme cold, please fly with caution. In the middle of the screen, set common parameters, such as RTH altitude, maximum altitude, maximum flight distance, and signal lost action. Slide to set the power value threshold for the low battery alarm. If the drone shows abnormal conditions such as overheating of the aerial electronics module, the drone will fly to the alternate landing site by default. Due to reasons such as signal blockage and far distance, the remote controller signal may be lost. In this case, the drone will automatically return to home. At the RTH altitude you set here. Signal lost action is set to return to home by default. This option is recommended. If this option is selected, when losing the transmission signal, the drone automatically returns to the home point. If hover is selected, when losing the transmission signal, the drone hovers at the current position. If the battery level is only sufficient for landing, the drone will land in place immediately. If landing is selected, when losing the transmission signal, the drone descends immediately. If fly to alternate landing site is selected, when losing contact, the drone flies to the preset alternate landing site. We will show you how to add and set alternate landing sites in subsequent tutorials. When the drone performs one of the preceding actions after losing the transmission signal, it may encounter obstacles. In this case, the drone will hover at the current position, and you need to take over control promptly. Home point is set by default to the position on the ground where the drone detects a strong satellite signal after power on. You can tap to set home point to the hovering position of the drone or the position of the handheld remote controller. Control stick mode is set to mode two by default. This mode is recommended. The power value threshold for the low battery alarm is 15% by default. When the battery level drops to 15%, the remote controller beeps and displays a message to remind you that the drone must return to home as soon as possible for battery replacement. The power value threshold for the critically low battery alarm is 5% by default. When this threshold is reached, the remote controller will beep at shorter intervals. At the bottom of the screen are obstacle avoidance settings. You can tap to enable or disable the obstacle avoidance system in different directions, and slide to set the distance threshold for alerts and the brake action. The action taken when obstacles are detected can be set to break or off. If off is selected, the obstacle avoidance system is disabled for the drone. We recommend you enable the obstacle avoidance system and use the default settings.